An invasive pest targeting plants is creeping into the tri-state. Experts warn about the destruction they could cause, especially for vineyards and farmers. They hide well, but when their wings spread, there's no mistaking the spotted lanternfly, a threat to fruit crops and trees. They can be especially uh, harmful to grapevines, um, uh, hops, orchard crops. Uh. The Ohio Department of Agriculture says the invasive species from Asia was first detected in Ohio at the end of 2020. Since then, there have been dozens of reports in the state with at least three populations identified in Cleveland, Amherst, and Mingo Junction. Quite a few, more than we expected to hear, hear about this year. In July 2021, a population was also identified in Switzerland County, Indiana, near the Ohio River, according to the Indiana Department of Natural Resources. And just this week, the latest sighting reported on the west side of Cincinnati near Mill Creek. And uh, we're in the early stages in, in Cincinnati, of course, of, of still trying to figure out if uh, we have an established population there or if it's just a few of these insects that, that uh, you know, hitched a ride on, on some cargo or something like that. Dan Kenny says the insects don't fly long distances, but they get far on other things that may move, like logs, trucks, and other equipment. And it can lay its eggs on just about anything that's outside. The department has taken time to talk with vineyards where they say the bugs can decrease production by 90 percent. We're obviously concerned about it uh, because you know, of what could happen. So far, so good, though. We don't know that they're causing any any kind of feeding damage right now in Ohio. We haven't seen them infesting, for instance, gardens. I'm told the best preventative measure is to keep an eye out. And reports from last month show the spotted lanternfly hasn't made its way to Kentucky yet. I have reached out to the Department of Agriculture there to see if that's still the case. Now, if you see a spotted lanternfly, you're asked to take a photo or capture it in a Ziploc and freeze it. Then report, yep. Then report, <laughs> yeah, wow. to like, you know, preserve it. Sure, okay. Then report it to the Department of Agriculture so they can confirm the sighting and do more research. It's also important to know what their eggs look like. Go to local12.com and click this story to find out more.